Great to be joined now in the Gallus by horse trainer Willie Munns. We've got a huge team here at the Cheltenham Festival. Willie, great to see all the string out here this morning. How's preparations been? Everything is going eerily well now. It's just unbelievable. We've had one defection this week, a bumper horse um, joystick, but everything has gone well. I think the rain has come. Uh, it'll suit most of our horses, mm. so we couldn't ask for better preparation. Uh, just talking to Bernard, of course, we've seen the gallops, and uh, when you see the ground suit your horse, do you train your horse in a deep gallop like uh, this? We, we do, but we don't have a hill, you know, so um, I was. Uh, we had uh, Michael Bone over with us for a few months, Peter Bone's son, and I asked him after a couple of months, well, what do you think? He said it's the first time I've ever ridden on a, a flat gallop, which I found extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so a lot of the English trainers, a lot of the Irish trainers now, they're doing, they're all uphill gallops. Uh, so we just keep our ground a bit softer than other mm. people because of the nature of our gallops. And uh, the team, we got to see Paul Townes just riding statement. Which state man here, yeah, he's in great order, yeah. So um, they're all just heading back up now, but uh, just with the weather this morning, we don't want them out too long. We usually graze a bit longer here, but anyhow, we'll get things moving. Mm. And statement, how has been his second race last year? He's had a flawless Irish campaign. Uh, as I said, everything has just gone so well. Uh, unfortunate for Michael Buckley and Nicky Henderson that Constitution Hill misses the race, but mm. it might be in our favour. We hope, you know, it it'll um, it'll be nice for statement to to get a champion hurdle. Fingers crossed. Big opportunity for him. Yeah, yeah. Willie, you have vast experience, um, great team here, but nerves. Do you still get nerves? Um, th you do, obviously, but uh, just you know, this year the the the, the team that's there, everything has gone right. Uh, you know, we're hoping and praying now at this stage, so uh, we haven't time to get nerves. That's about it now. Yeah. And just in terms of the trainer to jockey, the instructions, the tactical instructions, you have obviously certain races with multiple runners. Mm. Do you tend to give it this morning or is that done? No, I'm, I'm a bit hands off in that respect. I let the jockeys make up their minds what they're going to do. They come to me and they tell me, and more often than not, I would say, that's fine, that'll do me. If they're doing something that's really alien to me, I might say, not sure that works or we'll change something today. But sometimes I find if I go against what they say, they don't do what I want <laughs> and they don't and they get confused with what they want okay. and I, I get no ride. So it's better off. I trust all the riders and they're all professionals and they know the horse of the opposition better than I do. Uh, so they know maybe what's going to happen in a race, how the jockeys are lining up at the start. And I trust them, and um, not going to get it right every day, but more often than not, they do. So I leave that department to them usually. And that's one of the things that Andy Farrell says, or the players say about Andy Farrell, he trusts them to go and play. If you get picked to play for Ireland yeah. under him, you're good enough to play, and you can go out and actually just let it go and, and enjoy it. And I think it's a, it's a much better place to be as a, as a player, and I'm sure for a jockey as well. I, I think so. I'm always fascinated um, in soccer matches how managers are trying to manage the players from the sidelines. I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you train these guys, you not trust them. Uh, whereas rugby uh, coaches are different. They stand up in the stands and they watch the game and let the game flow. Sure. Uh, much better system, I think. Yeah, if it's anything, it's the captain on the field who, who might make yeah. the odd tactical mm -hmm. adjustment or, or the out half, but yeah. the, co the coaches kind of stand back mm -hmm. and it's only at half time or full time that they, they give you the words of wisdom. Would you take that from other sports? you try and pick up things like that from other sports? Oh yeah, yeah. I'd watch the way other managers do things. Uh, uh, you'd watch how they handle in running sports and like as I said I let I trust my guys to do it right I can't talk to the horses <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got earphones on them yet <laughs> we've got earplugs and hoods and things but uh, although imagine if you put a, a microphone in their ear you know go yeah. halfway during the race <laughs> was there ever a time when you'd like to have an ear a microphone in the jockey's ear Oh, sometimes you would, yeah, yeah. You would. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't be printable what you might say to them. Uh, but then I know from riding in a race what I'm watching, and I'm watching a horse going well, and Fran, you'd know mm. it too. And you think, why isn't Paul going now, you know? Yeah. And then Paul comes back into me and says, Willie, you know, he says, I couldn't stir on him. He actually gave a, a blow. Mm. He blew up or he just got tired, and he would be relaxing on the horse to give him a, a breather. And, but we can't see that he, in the stand. He, he's feeling it, but you're not seeing it. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. So, and that's, uh, you know, that's brilliant about Paul. Sometimes in a race, he, and, and he comes back and he said, look, after the third last, 
this fellow gave a blow, I had to just give him a breather. Mm. And I think giving a horse's breathers is a feature of riding that's gone out of fashion. Mm. Very few people do it now. Yeah. They want to be seen to be in a bad position. Uh, the, the minute a horse comes off the bridle, they go for him. Uh, I remember years ago, like most riders gave their horses breathers. Nowadays, do you do you know that, yeah, or would you you, you know ask your style, father? It's style it's of different style, change, of, yeah. yeah. Particularly the UK style of racing, maybe more so in Ireland. But there's even yeah. it's an art form and it's a patience thing. And as you said, maybe lads just want to be seen to be committed. And, and then stewards are always asking riders, why didn't you go at that stage of the race? And it's with all the closed camera work, I think it puts the rider under more pressure. Mm. And but the the good riders, the confident riders, they have the confidence to give the horse a breather and you make it up you know in the last furlong and a half not, not afraid to get beaten in a way yeah. Yeah, that's it you've got to trust your trainer too mm -hmm. and your owner you you know that they're loyal enough that they'll come in and believe what you say big week four days of racing you have so many runners but galloping and champ he's been in to follow up album for to win a second gold cup yeah um you know this weather is good for him everything is going right Fingers crossed. Uh, it'd be great if he does, and if he doesn't, as Greg Turley said, you know we have we have an Irish one on the mantelpiece, <laughs> and we have an English one as well. So <laughs> it's great to have one on the mantelpiece. Mm. So you go in with less pressure. And for your owners this week, uh, it means a hell of a lot to just be here with runners and be competitive. Yeah, you know I I, um, uh, I enjoyed having a drink with Paddy Riley last night, <laughs> and he had right. Flora Fasil in the bumper. <laughs> you know we're here, and he's had horses for years, never had a runner at Cheltenham. Mm it's uh, a dream come true for mm -hmm. most guys to have a runner here never mind have a fancied one but uh, having a runner here be out here in the gallops in the morning and you know all the atmosphere the buzz that goes with it uh, that's why why we, we like it i think are you done now is another any lot to come out we or? have another another lot to come out yeah we're a little bit behind time I'd, but then that's normally us we're normally last in the gallop yeah, so it's worked <laughs> well so far so yeah why change so it exactly yeah we just have to go our own pace and um, you know, anyhow, we're as I said, we just keep the fingers crossed and hoping for the best. Uh, thanks very much for your time, Willie, and I uh, hope you have a great week. Thanks, for, I hope you have a great week punting oh. as well. <laughs> I'll <laughs> stick to Fran. Uh, so I'm not sure what his form is like, but we'll we know by the end of the day. Exactly. <laughs> no, it, it, you, not too bad. I'll be sticking with him, I think. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Better than me punting. Thanks so much. Thanks, 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 Willie. Cheers. Thanks, Willie.